it down here. Hey, uh, free ride right down here. I got to do <laughs> this call. Up. We're going to remind you. I got a little here. nervous for a second. I didn't think maybe we were going to get out of the free ride because I know it's exciting. I'm well, I know excited. I saw him backing up there, so that, that had me concerned. But he's a professional. Safety first, kids. And don't forget, Mom these said. guys are working hard and they're working for tips, okay? It's a free ride. All you got to do is, uh, you know, grease them a little bit. Give them that nice fat tip. As, long, uh, 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 as well as all the bartenders, with you. With you, waiters, up. waitresses, all those people Correct. that are working so hard for you right here in Killington to uh, make your stay enjoyable, right? So, you know, I'll give them a little tip, right? That's right. A lot of people that are working hard to make your stay enjoyable inside the doors of the Wobbly Barn is what we are about to enter, Slotto, if you will. And these people, <laughs> you talk about hard work, this is what they do, okay? Yes, I would agree. Right, Slato? Yes, we got uh, some of the fine staff. You know, the thing I like coming here, for years and years, you got the same friendly faces here, whether it's upstairs. The guys here at the nightclub or downstairs, it's the staff. I think we should start our journey tonight downstairs here at the steakhouse and see what's going on down, downstairs here. So you can come right well, in, head down, yes. Slato, what, I, what? I what, couldn't Kelly? agree with you more. Let's, get ex <laughs> let's go right now. Down the stairs we go. Killington After Dark, I'm Callie, and I am back in the kitchen, which is a place that I'm not familiar with, so this is where we are. We're in the kitchen at the Wobbly Barn, and we are here with Nick and Nor, who you could call Nick. How are we doing, Nick and Nor? I'm doing absolutely fabulous tonight. How are you doing? I can't complain, because, I mean, it's warm back here. Yes. You have the smell of, of <laughs> cooking meat. It's, it's like it's one of the best perfumes or colognes that you can wear. Everybody wants to be around you when you smell like you've been cooking meat all night. Yeah, there's some commercial. I don't remember what it was. Is like with bacon, and the girl's like, oh, what's in your bag? One of the best campaigns ever. I think we oh, should yeah. start that here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're cooking lots and lots of great stuff. We're cooking steaks, seafood. Um, we have uh, sautéed items. We have a blackened grouper tonight that we just got flown in. Uh, I have striped bass coming in tomorrow night. So we just have lots and lots of great seafood and steaks for all of Killington to enjoy. So flown in black and grouper? Yes. yes. That's intense. Where is it flown in from? Uh, we get that straight from the coast. Comes in right off the boat. They do it and then they fly it right to the airport and bring it right here. And which coast are we speaking of? Uh, the east coast. Yes. The best coast. The best coast. This yes. is basically how we yes. should sum that up. Uh, the beast of the east. You know that. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Nicanor, right now, though, actually, we are working on what? We are working on our signature St. Louis ribs that we have here. These are wonderful ribs that we rub with our um, a dry rub, and then we put them in and let them cook for six hours. I mean, they go in about 8 o'clock in the morning. We take them out in the afternoon, uh, you know, finger licking, dripping good, and then we take them and we put them on the grill here to get a nice smoky flavor. I have three sauces that I use. I use a uh, signature barbecue sauce for the Wobbly Barn. We also have a Chicago style barbecue sauce, and then we also have a sweet and spicy Asian, like me, pretty much. That's right, because as Nicanor told me, you are actually half uh, Filipino and half, half Guam. Half Romanian, yes. Yeah, I'm a Pacific Islander. Right, and I actually lived in Japan for a year, so I know where Guam is, and I almost vacationed there, almost. I don't know where that gets us right now, but Great I'm kind beaches. of excited about it. Great beaches, and I, you know, I, I, I sacrifice the beaches because it's too cold right now. Um, enjoying the skiing, enjoying the mountain and all that, but definitely going back to the beach. And I just want to point out that the St. Louis ribs you just told me are a different cut of meat than like your baby back rib, right? Baby back rib is from a different part of, uh, of, of the pig, but it's just as good. Uh, baby back ribs tend to just be a little bit smaller. People like the access of just having a smaller rib. This tends to be a little bit more meatier and, uh, and, and just a great rib. This is the rib that we decided to go with here at the Wobbly Barn. Which is a good choice because basically what Nick and Orr is saying, this is man food right here at the Wobbly Barn, okay? You come to the mountain, you ski the beast, you want man food. You don't want those little baby ribs. You want the big ones, right, Nick and Orr? You've been doing a session all day long. This is what you want to eat. This is what you want to have. We have... Uh, we have great, sorry, we have mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, we have rice, we have a soup and a salad bar and a bread bar that is absolutely endless, 32 items. I want you to look at something here. This is a signature thing that we have here. It's called the Will Cut. Oh, wow. This is named after a doorman that, you know, he, he just couldn't have a small prime rib. He had to have the biggest possible. That's so you can even... come in and you can have that. That's called the Will Cut. Ask for it by name. That's not, that's not even, like... Humanly possible. Oh, it's humanly possible. Yeah. You see Tiny upstairs? 
He loves those things. Outside of him, has anyone else ever finished the will? The what is it? The will call? The will cut. Will, will cut. Will cut. Yes. The will cut. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had one? I have never had one. No, no, no. I'm, I'm watching my weight here. You know, ah, as I can. That's right. Back here in the sauna, right? <laughs> Back in the sauna room. You know, this is this is my whole, you know, my whole system. Well, Nicanor, thank you for showing us what it is that you do back here in the kitchen at the Wobbly Barn. Because, again, for people like myself that don't know what a kitchen is or what it does, it's very interesting. Well, you know, feel free to come by anytime. Jump right in with the boys. You know, we'll have a great time. Enjoy. Seriously. And you, I want to get this right on the table right now. Next time I come in here, mm -hmm. I'm ordering the will cut and I'm finishing it all. The whole thing. We're going to document thing. it. We're going to document it when she will cut from the beginning to the end and her just going like this. Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> exactly. So you're going to want to check that out, right, Nick Knorr? Absolutely. Absolutely.